through. Hey, congratulations for Seriously Red. Thank you. Thanks so much. It is a lovely, funny uh, film. So we have to ask first, because I know this is your first writing project. Uh, tell us where the original idea came from. Well, I um, I was doing a play and I was trying to figure out what my next job was. And um, I was getting nervous and I was going for different auditions and I wasn't really, I wasn't getting the parts, I wasn't booking it. And my dad always said to his daughters, you got to go out there, guys, you got bubs, you got to go out there, you got to be a success, you've got to take control of the reins. And I guess I didn't really feel like I was getting success or I didn't feel, I didn't feel successful. So I was wanting to figure out what success was. And if I got it, would I know what it felt like? And I very quickly realized that to me, success looks like Dolly Parton. Um, and so, which is a little high. It's a little high. It'd be good if success to me was just like, you know, something a little bit more achievable, <laughs> but um, figured out that success to me looked like Dolly Parton. So that's where I started. I started to write about Dolly. Um, I've got another muse who's very sort of in some ways similar to me, but she's, she's also interesting and eccentric and very far from Dolly. And so I've kind of put those two aspects of my thoughts and imagination together. And I grew up dancing. So I grew up in a world of color and movement and costumes. And um, I always wanted to keep that alive in me and, and, and draw that in and make sure I wasn't writing a dark Australian story. <laughs> now, it, it seems like you put a lot of uh, extensive research into this world of impersonations. Could you tell about the process of uh, doing that? Did you did you have to like go undercover to these clubs or something? I didn't, but I did. I was living in um, in New York at the time, and so I flew to Vegas and um, sort of stalked some of the the true performers over there, and had a you know researched and sat down and chatted and explored how far how far they took it and how crazy is it to live as someone else and then the quicker i sort of really really started to write about it the quicker i realized that we're all living kind of double lives especially in the in the current scenario with social media and filters and and we're always sort of wanting to create an identity that maybe is or maybe isn't quite truly who we are. And I also realize how often your identity changes and evolves and how important it is to kind of remember that and then key back in to yourself and go, hang on, that's not who, that's who I was a while ago, but it's not sort of who I am now. And making sure that you're kind of adjusting and you're, you're keeping on top of that little precious little box of yours. Isn't it kind of ironic that uh, you you wrote a story about identity and your profession is an actor? Like like this this is something you do th your entire life. True, this is true. I mean, it's it's the that's partly the best thing about acting is that you get to as much as you can dip into somebody else's skin and someone else's experience, which is what I love. And there's like a safe haven doing that and um yeah that's like what i that's what i love about it that's why yeah i love it. i mean i studied method at strasbourg theater institute and i'm not like i've got a few different ways of my acting going around like i'm not like strictly method but um it really rang true to me when i was there learning about method because it's i, I definitely work from the inside out versus some other techniques go from the outside in it's the same result but um, yeah, it's so fun. It's so fun <laughs> when you can get it. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us about the, your transformation into uh, this uh, Dolly Parton, uh, um, you know, impersonation. Uh, I mean, it, it all starts with the costumes because I have to admit the costumes are amazing in this film. Thank you. Um, I'll pass that on. Tim Chappell is our costume designer. And he was actually one of the first people to jump on board because he is, he did Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, which is a very famous Australian film. So he did that when he was like in his twenties and he's so creative. And he's, I think at the moment he's in LA doing the masked singer, 
mm. the American version of that. Um, he's so creative and he can, he can make something out of nothing. And, you know, we had a tiny budget on this. So he really, he pulled a bunch of wild things together and, um, yeah, he's just so collaborative and fun. Um, also, Cassie Hanlon, who did all of their hair and makeup and wigs, she also did Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. So they're very old, good friends. And she also jumped on board because it's not just jeans and T-shirt type of looks. They could just explode their creativity over it. And we were like, yes, 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 yes and yes, all of that. So it was fun. <laughs> Now you mentioned before you uh, you're, you're you're a dancer, but what how how did you uh, tackle the singing part of, uh, of of this film? I mean that's 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 something else then. It is, and Dolly's got such a incredible voice and such a incredible pitch. So singing lessons, um, and I grew up doing singing and dancing and acting at a like a performing arts school here in Sydney. Um, so it's always been in my wheelhouse, although I wouldn't go out and um, certainly record an album. I'm like definitely an actor, um, but I love singing and dancing and I love the whole gamut of that whole world. So um, yeah, it was so fun. Well, you have a lovely voice that, that is a certain as, as approved in this film. <laughs> Thank you. Now, uh, one of the things that's also delight I, I just had to bring up is uh, Rose Byrne, which I I, I read that uh, she's one of your uh, great friends uh, um, back there in Australia. Tell tell her how how it's such a boon to uh, and a delight for her, her to join this project for you. I mean, she's been so, she's been one of my number one champions for so long, and she loves she's loved the script. I've been working on it for quite a few years, so. She'd always read the drafts and give notes, and um, we all kind of really came together. Gracie Otto and our lead producer Jessica Carrera, and also one other director, Shannon Murphy, who did a, a film called Baby Teeth. So we were all, we've all been collaborating for quite a long time, and this was the film that kind of brought us all together and went, we should start a production company and um, and bring you know our our each our 20 years of experience from all different assets of the industry um, together. But yes, RB is, um, is a force to be reckoned with. She looks sweet and pretty, but she is so smart, so quick, um, has a great business now, and um, she's a, a great person to have in your corner. So yeah, I'm very grateful. She's a, a dear, dear friend and um, still got a wicked personality, still humble, despite all of her success, um, approachable, kind, all those things. And she's still hilarious because, uh, because I had to do a double take of her as, as Elvis. <laughs> do you know how many people, my dad has been at like across this for so long. Even my dad was like, pop, pop, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Like he, it took him 30 minutes to figure out that that was Rose, which was so weird. And even our, one of our editors, um, Deb Pert, who did a beautiful edit, she did the final edit. Um, it took her a whole week until she realized that that was Rose. And that was just all Cassie Hanlon and Rose doing shadowing. And um, yeah, there was no prosthetics. It was just sort of mood and feel and um, shadowing and lighting. Toby Oliver, who did all the, um, who's the DOP, um, and Gracie. So yeah, she does such a great job and it's so, she's so funny. Um, and mo the more I watch it, the more I chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> I know it, it, it is, it is funny. I wouldn't even know if it was Rose unless it was, because it was, all I saw was in the credits. It was going, where's Rose in the trailer? I didn't, <laughs> and, that, and that's how I realized it was her. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, she can do it all. She really can. Most excellent. Well, crew, um, let me wrap it up with one last question because now you have this, uh, you know, writing credit under your belt and, you know, kind of um, formed this uh, production company. You want to do something like this again? I want to do, you know what, when I met jo Dolly Parton, I had this sort of divine intervention when I was like looking at Dolly Parton's eyes and I was like, I'm actually talking to Dolly Parton and we're talking about the film and the way we were discussing things. I just went, wow, I, she just does joy. I do joy. I'm just going to do joy. So that's what I do know. I want my next project that will probably be in TV. 
I want it to be keeping the realm of some sort of joy because you know what life is dark and hard enough I think we've all been we all understand that now um um so yes but it probably will lean a little more into dance most excellent well i can't wait to, to check out your next project and uh, talk to you again about this I thank you very to... much crew thank you My pleasure. nice to meet you nice to meet you too thank you oh.